Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Welcome to my Facebook Live. I'm gonna pull my live up on the screen here so I can see your comments a little better. I see people popping in. Hi Terry, you're the first one to pop up on my screen tonight. Lisa's here, welcome Lisa. Karen, I see you coming in. Heather. Hello, hello, hello. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to unpin this video from last Sunday too. Oh, I don't want to delete it. There we go. Unpin. That way people won't get confused as to where they need to be. I know that sometimes this Facebook stuff can be a little confusing, right? All right. I see Angie and Terry and Denise and Rhonda coming in. Welcome, everybody. And I see weird things happening on my screen. So I hope you guys had a great day. Um, I was busy all day long today. What did I do? Oh. I made brownies. <laughs> and then they didn't turn out that good. So I made these chocolate chunk brownies. Every time I stuck a toothpick in them, it came out with chocolate on them. On the toothpicks so I thought it was the chocolate chunks you know like I couldn't get away from the chocolate chunks and it turns out they weren't done so I have like a square pan of brownies and like this much of them look gooey when you look at them and I, I messaged my mom and I said mom can I just throw these back in the oven and she goes yeah I don't think so <laughs> and I even took and poured a bag of um, walnuts into them because I love brownies with walnuts so mm. Hi, Janet Schmidt. Beth, I see you coming in here. Sandy, welcome. Joanne is here. So yeah, I made brownies today, and then the rest of the day I was working. I was getting ready. I know, I love that I can call it work, right? She's like, oh, like, she calls that work. I was getting ready for my Facebook Live tonight. I have a really cool layout. Like, I've been saving this for a long time because when I first made it, I was like, Oh, this is awesome. This will be awesome for a card challenge. So, since we're all stuck at home, I thought it would be a fabulous time to do a card challenge. So, I'm going to be sharing that with you tonight. Hi, Mary. Ashley, welcome. Robin's here. I'm happy to see you. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Haley. Haley said, hi, Mom. Hi, honey. <laughs> Ruth is here. Charlene is popping in. So, yeah, I've got a really neat... Um, card layout to share with you and did you guys catch my little pun when I um, advertised my Facebook live for tonight I mean we're gonna be making some witty cards yeah we're gonna be using the witty sism stamp set I have a hard time saying that I don't know why maybe because it's hard to say but um, yeah and uh, Ashley says she loved my dear video today thank you I just thought we could all use a little giggle, right? I, I think that um, people are a little stressed right now. And if I can help alleviate that, I also shared on my personal profile page this video of these, these round blow up animals. And I watched it on somebody else's page and it just, I was laughing so hard I had tears. I thought, oh my gosh, I have to share that. So um, if you're not friends with me and you would like to see it, maybe I should share it on this page. Maybe I'll try to do that because it's just hysterical. It really made me laugh. And I think we need to laugh more when we're under a lot of stress like this, right? I think it just lightens your heart a little bit and helps you get through the rough times. Yeah. Hi, Linda. I've got two Lindas popping in and Susan and Melissa. Um, Steve today. Steve was busy, busy, busy. He worked in our room upstairs. We've got an empty bedroom that used to be Haley's and he was repainting the trim around the inside of the window and then he took the closet all apart and redid the shelf in there and touched it up and painted it. And He didn't like that the closet was white like the ceiling so he painted it gray like the rest of the walls, a very pale gray. And... Um, he changed out all the outlets and the light switches, so I had to help him with, he went in the basement and started flipping breakers, and I had to tell him when he got the right one, because our house is, it's got, you know, it's 120 years old, but it's got, it's got newer wiring, right? So we have, we do have a breaker box, but 
it's like one bedroom can be three different breakers. It's so bizarre. Like the people who used to live here just kind of made a disaster out of it. So anyways, he changed out all the light switches and all the outlet switches. And then you guys are going to be really impressed. And then you're going to go, that girl is so spoiled. He mopped the floor. Yeah, because we had drywall dust kind of all over the place. And he mopped the floor. Yeah. And now it looks so pretty. So now what we're going to do is we're going to move our brand. I just bought new bedroom furniture like, I don't know when we got it. January maybe. And um, we're going to move all of our furniture into this brand new bedroom so that we can have our old icky bedroom redone. So that's exciting too, right? Yeah, I can't hardly wait for that. And that's going to have some major, like, major remodeling. Um, I was going to move my office into our master bedroom because it's pretty big. But then I changed my mind. My friend Rachel told me that I should tear the wall out between my dressing room bedroom and the little tiny bedroom that we have and make one big bedroom. And I think that's what we're going to do. So Sharon says her husband worked on the terrible garage mess. Good deal. Get it cleaned up, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I know. Peggy says you are really spoiled. Well, believe me, Peggy, I've paid dearly for that. <laughs> we're not kidding anybody here, are we? <laughs> no. So yeah, I do feel a little spoiled, but I also feel like I've earned it. <laughs> Steve wasn't always that wonderful. Shh, don't tell him I said that. But he's pretty wonderful now. So I wanted to share some mail with you. I got a beautiful card from Kathy Fennell this week. And... Oh, sure enough. I did read this before. Look at how pretty that is. This is the Painted Poppies or the Poppy Suite of Products. And I, I don't think you can see it, but she used the Subtles Embossing Folder on the white layer. So it's got that kind of linen look. It's so, so, so pretty. And she was, um, it says thanks on the front, and then it says not only for what you do, but for being someone so special. And I love that greeting because um, you could send that greeting to a lot of people, I hope, in your life, right? Um, she said, thank you so much for the metallic baker's twine and sequins. As you can see, I have already started to put them to good use. Thank you for all that you do. Look at, she used the baker's twine here and the sequins here, right? So way to go, Kathy. This is just a beautiful card. Thank you so much. And we're going to put that right back here by my beautiful flowers from Connie. <laughs> and then I got a little package from Jay. And Jay is one of my team members. Um, she's from Harshaw, Wisconsin, which is just a really tiny little place. And... Um, I am so happy to have her as part of my team. She's really an exceptional stamper. And so she sent me this. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? It says, thinking of you, sweet friend, and it uses the honeybee um, da -da 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 -da, bundle. <laughs> I couldn't think my words were gone. I love this, love this. And she's saying happy anniversary. Wishing you many more years of Stampin' Up! Can't wait for your million dollar goal attainment. Thought you'd enjoy the enclosed. Um, spring is coming. Thank you for all that you do as our team leader and an awesome demonstrator. Thank you so much. I'm grateful to have you on my team, Jay. I really, really am. So there's the card. And then look at this little goodie. And I love this. These are our little bags. We have these little bags. They're like um, little gift bags. And the ribbon pops down. This opens up. See how it's a little treat bag? That's what I was trying to say. Little treat bag. We sell these in the big catalog. And inside, flowers. And these are delphiniums. Yep, delphiniums. I know these flowers and I love them. And I will plant these because I have flower beds. I'm pretty excited about that. Um... One of the things that I really liked about Jay's little packaging here is she used this label on the front and it says, may sunshine and flowers brighten your day. And the ribbon, hang on, I'm trying to get it to work. The ribbon tucks under this so that it keeps the bag closed. So let me show you, let me get it back on there. It's easier to undo than it is to get on. But once somebody opens this right, they're not probably gonna redo it. So it's fine, but <laughs> hang on. I'm having 
having some technical difficulties here because I don't know how to work with paper. <laughs> it really is my own fault. It's very simple. Okay, so now I bent it. Let me show you. Okay, so see how the ribbon is underneath this flap and it's keeping the bag closed. So I thought that was really genius, right? I just thought, oh, look how neat that is. It's those little things that I'm always looking at. It's kind of crazy, but as paper crafters, we really kind of pay attention to the details, don't we? At least I know I try to. So I'm gonna put that right there. And here's my little B card that I thought was so cute. I see Amy popping on from Canada and Patty's here. Rhonda just shared. Thank you so much for sharing. If you guys would share my video, you can click that share button right now. Share it to your profile page. You never know who you have in your friend list that might be a crafter or sitting at home right now. They're looking for a new hobby. I would love to have them come join us and get in on the fun, right? So that's what I'm always looking for when you're sharing is new people, new people coming. And it really helps me out. Now, what do I have going on this week? Um, I have, of course, my Wednesday tip video. And I'm not sure exactly what that's going to be yet, but I'll figure it out. I work better under the gun, right? Thursday, I have the Paper Pumpkin Alternate Blog Hop with the a Paper Pumpkin Thing design team. And um, lots of people signed up for this next Paper Pumpkin Kit that is shipping all over the country right now. I haven't got mine yet. I was hoping that it would come yesterday, but it didn't. So, and I've seen it online. It's rain boots and it's clouds and it's all about um, a ray of sunshine during cloudy times. I, I don't know exactly what the sentiments say, but it's got that, that theme. Could it be more perfect for right now? Like I am gonna kick some butt with that stamp set. I can't hardly wait to get a hold of it. So I'm really kind of like, hmm. First mine. I usually don't get it till like Monday or Tuesday. And then I have to scramble to make my alternate ideas. Yes, Wendy Sue says, caring and sharing. Thank you so much. It is. Sharing my video is caring, and I really do appreciate it. Also, give me a thumbs up. That helps me out in the Facebook algorithms for my videos to um, be something that Facebook might push to people who have interests in paper crafting or do it yourself or scrapbooking or all that stuff but Ashley just said it's the best yeah it I, I know I've, I've seen it Debbie says she loves the new paper pumpkin I can't wait to get it but if you guys are not getting paper pumpkins so when paper pumpkin first came out but now it's amazing like we get so much stuff in it the big stamp set well it's not big sometimes it's a little stamp set with you know five or six stamps in it you get a stamp spot every month. Plus, if you if you subscribe through me or order your paper pumpkin through me, I will send you a file, a PDF file, with 15 different project sheets showing alternate ideas to use with that kit that you got that month. So if you get the kit and you're like, no, nah, I don't really need any cards like what's in the kit, like what Stampin' Up! designed for us to make, I give you 15 different ideas for you to make other things that you may need. And yes, you do need to use like your own card bases sometimes, or you might want to circle punch or something, but you can figure it out and you can just um, modify to get what you need. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sandra. I see Sandra's coming in too. So anyways, paper pumpkin blog hop. I got off on a tangent, didn't I? Like squirrel. <laughs> I know I do that a lot. Paper pumpkin. Um blog hop on Thursday and then Friday is a totally technique blog hop and our theme this month is shaker cards and I haven't made a shaker card in ages so I'm super excited to be designing something with a shaker element so that'll be really fun and maybe I'll even use the paper pumpkin kit I don't know We'll have to see. We'll see what I figure out. Anyways, I'm, you know, I'm real last minute on that. Okay, so that's what's happening this week. Um, I talked a little bit about last night offering my Welcome Easter 
kit class as just a card pack option. And Ashley had contacted me. She's my partner from Canada that does the my our monthly um, Creating Without Borders card kit. And she had contacted me and said, hey, with everybody being stuck at home, do you think it would be a good idea to offer a, the cardstock pack by itself? And I thought that was a great idea. And in light of the times and what's going on right now, we are happy to do that. So I did load all that information on my blog. Um, there's a right-hand column on my blog. And you're going to click on online classes. And you're going to find where you can just order the pre-cut cardstock pack. If you're a demonstrator, um, you have your own supplies. You can just get the pre-cut cardstock. And you can make all the cards that we have in there. Now... With that being said, yesterday, pretty much all day, and today, all afternoon, well, since 3 o'clock, I've been working on getting the kits out from the first order of the Welcome Easter. I do have about eight pre-cut cardstock packs left. I'll be making more based on demand, but um, I will be able to get those out in the mail to you pretty quickly. I'm getting my first round out first. And then tomorrow I'll work on the second round that's now trickling in from people who may want it that I opened it up to last night. Does that make sense? That's a lot of information, I know. And I hate throwing that all at you because it's a lot of information. But anyways, I just want you to have all the information, right? I don't want you to be like, what the heck is she talking about? So anyways, um, we have, okay, so... Facebook Live, by the way, I do plan on continuing to do Facebook Lives on a daily basis until we are out from under the crazy that's happening right now because I've heard from so many of you that it is a bright spot in your day. I'm so glad that I can share that with you and um, I want to keep it up because as we're stuck in our houses longer and longer, it could get a little stressful, right? So, if I can keep bringing you some fun card ideas, I will continue to do so. Now, yesterday I said that we were going to, this was going to be a prize, the ribbon and the coastal weave embossing folder. And then I said that the baker's twine and sequins were going to be, I'm just going to do two prizes, right? Well, I'm going to keep this for tomorrow. I'll give that away tomorrow based on everybody that watched me yesterday. Because tonight's prizes are based on last Sunday's Facebook Live. Okay, does that make sense? So I went back to last Sunday and picked out the winners for tonight. And I am happy to report that for commenting, make sure you comment, um, for commenting on my Facebook Live. Oh, I see one of them fell out of place here. For commenting on my Facebook Live, I have gold faceted gems that I am going to be sending to Lynn Hall in Wayland, Michigan. Lynn, I hope you're watching tonight. I have an envelope ready to roll and a card ready to send out to you in tomorrow's mail because I'm a little ahead of the game, <laughs> which like hardly never happens. So let me, let me see if I can pat myself on the back a little bit. Hang on, I just dropped my... I just dropped Lynn's prize. But anyways, I will be getting this out in the mail to you tomorrow. Then, for sharing my video, I have the absolutely Argyle embossing folder. We are going to be using this tonight to make some super cute cards. And our winner for sharing is D Blythe. And D is from... Huntersville, North Carolina. Dee, I was so excited when I picked your name. Dee has been ha experiencing some health issues that she's on the mend for. Um, if anybody wants to send any prayers her way, I'm sure she would appreciate them. But she is recovering and um, getting stronger and working hard. And she is just a breath of fresh air. She emails me and she's funny and she's always so very grateful for the tiniest little things. So this is on its way to you, Dee. I have it ready for the fun Paisley envelope. Who doesn't want to get that in their mail, right? And that's for sharing the video. Last but not least, and I always question, well, I'm not going to. Okay. Last but not least for placing an order between last Sunday's Facebook Live and tonight's Facebook Live, Timeless Tulips. 
Al Ware of West Richland, Washington is the big winner of the Timeless Tulip stamp set. And I just know that he is going to love this stamp set. So I will get this out in the mail also tomorrow. I think Al usually watches me on YouTube. Um, he's not, I don't think he's, well, maybe he's on Facebook too. No, I think he is on Facebook. I don't know. I can't, I can barely keep track of myself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I shared, um, some funny, I have a really funny joke for Wednesday's tip video. Every Wednesday I post a joke of the week. That's just been kind of my thing. I do a tip video and then I also post a joke of the week. Sometimes they're groaners. Sometimes they're just kind of amusing. Other times they're wet your pants funny. <laughs> This week's is pretty funny. So make sure you check that out on Wednesday. All right, are we ready to stamp? Let me move things away here. Let me get out my supplies before I turn you around. I really had a hard time deciding what we were gonna make today because I've got, some, I've got a little pile of ideas sitting right over there. So I'm thinking maybe tomorrow we might do some masculine cards. How do you guys feel about that? Um, tonight we're going to do some witty little cards and, um, we're going to be using the witty sisms and I will have this on the table when I flip you over so you can see it and read it and it's not going to be backwards. But for right now, I'm just going to get out the things. Look at all the cards. Look at, I hope you guys are prepared tonight because I am. We're going to make some cards, people. Okay. Let me get out all my little things here. And then we'll be ready to rock and roll. I'm so looking forward to this. Now, don't forget, March 31st is the last day of celebration. And nothing makes me sadder, and it happens every year, than somebody messaging me on April 1st saying, Hey, how do I get XYZ? And I'm like, oh, that was over yesterday. It never, ever, ever fails. So I want you to be aware, celebration ends on March 31st and usually our website gets pretty bogged down on March 31st with demonstrators trying to close out parties and stamp clubs and all the things that they have to do. Do not wait until March 31st if you were planning to place an order. I do not want you to get caught in the traffic jam that happens on the internet, okay? And if you were thinking about joining my team, do not wait until March 31st to do that because again if the website goes down because it's so overwhelmed with everybody trying to do their last minute things I can't do anything about it and I and this happens every year too I do not want to be on the phone or racing with emails back and forth all day long on the 31st please don't do that to me it's it's very stressful <laughs> But if you do want to join my team as a discount shopper, let's get in there now. I have all week we can work on this, okay? You get a pack of designer series paper. This is a sampler with almost all the paper in it from our spring mini catalog and our celebration. You get this cutie patootie little guillotine paper cutter and you get any stamp set of your choice absolutely free on top of $125 of merchandise you get to pick and a 20% discount on all your future orders. You get a paper pumpkin kit. You get like $215 worth of product for $99 plus tax, no shipping. And you get all this, all this stuff. Did, did you guys notice I have my B set? I just put this label in here so I could go like this. <laughs> Little tricks of the trade. But anyways, you get all this stuff you have to do it before March 31st, $99. It is the best deal of the year. You get to be on my team. You get access to me. Um, and my team is amazing. I have like the most talented team ever. I love them. We are posting every day on a private Facebook page. I send out a weekly newsletter. I do a weekly update video for them. I do a Facebook Live question and answer every Tuesday. I mean, there's just so much more to what I do, we do as a team than my Sunday night Facebook Live. So if you would like to be part of something bigger, now's the time. It is the best deal of the year. Do it before March 31st. Okay, I'm gonna put this back here. 
I'm gonna keep my little cutter here because it's perfect to sit on my table, right? What are you guys drinking? You know what I have here? <gasps> Strawberry lemonade, of course. I'm gonna flip you around. Oh, I didn't plug you in yet either. We'll do that. I'm gonna plug you in. I'm gonna flip you around. And Steve should make a card. Oh my Lord, you know, we've talked about that. That's a really good idea. Steve's a pretty good artist. Like I've been surprised at some of the things that he's made. Charlene wants to know how many people are on my team. I'm not really sure. I haven't checked in a while. Let me look. I've got, I've got a report that I can look at here to see. Now this isn't updated since whenever. Um, about, I'd say 290 are on my team. So I've got a fairly large team. It's something I've been building up. I've just celebrated my 16th year anniversary with Stampin' Up. And I've worked really, really hard to build a team because I knew almost from the get-go that I wanted to make a career out of this. And if you do want to make a career out of it, I can help you do that. I know how to do it. Um, but you have to, you have to build a team. Like I can remember a few years ago when Stampin' Up! used to give out awards, I was actually number 10 demonstrator of the year out of 40,000. And what that means is I had a very well-rounded business. You know, that was 10 years ago that that was about the time they quit doing that um, category, I think. But anyways, I had a very well-rounded business. I not only had good sales, I had great recruiting, I had a team, I had a number, my team is selling. Um, it's all based on all that stuff. So it's been something that I've been doing from the get-go is building a team, building my own business, doing my own sales, recruiting, so that I could have a well-rounded business. And I know how to do it and I know how to help people do it. So that's a good thing too. But if you just wanna get your product at a discount, I'm here for you. Good for you. We don't judge. <laughs> okay, let's let me put that back there. I'm gonna flip now. Uh, Robin's drinking Fresca. My husband is drinking Fresca, and he said that it actually made him feel better when he was sick, like last weekend. Remember, he was throwing up. It was quite disgusting. Yeah, I won't forget that for a long time because I'm not good with all that. Yeah, that's gross. <laughs> okay, here's our witty sisms. Let me see, I'm gonna wait and see you pop up on my screen. This is the cutest little stamp set. It is a million dollar stamp set for, ooh, I can't remember her name, hang on. Whoops, my computer just came unplugged too. So let's see. This was somebody's million dollar set. And I saw her demonstrate it when we were in Michigan last fall for a Stamping Up event. I think it was Michigan last fall for a Stampin' Up event. Witty Sisms. Super, super cute. There's some other really cute ideas in the catalog using, here it is. This is Lisa Fast. How could I forget that? Lisa Fast is, this is her million dollar set. So she designed this with Stampin' Up. That's one of the cool things I'll get to do when I hit my million dollars. And I was hoping, you guys, that we could break another chain off in my 10,000 increments to get to a million dollars in career sales. Um, we're very, very close to being able to do that. So when that happens, whatever Facebook Live this week that I'm on, we'll make sure to celebrate, all right? Okay, now I'm going to get my cards going. So I'm going to show you my layout. This is going to be the layout challenge this week. And I'm going to leave this open. Let me make some notes because I'll forget what I tell you and then I won't know what I'm talking about and then I'll get it all messed up. So this is how I keep my life straight is I make lots of notes. So Friday, 327 at noon, you have to make and submit your cards to be part of the challenge. I do not have any idea what I'm going to be giving away, but I can tell you that it will be a lot of fun. This is our layout, and what you're going to do is you're going to make a card using this layout, and you can adjust this any way you want. You can turn it this, whoops, you can turn it this way, you could do it this way, you could do it this way, you can use an embossing folder here, you can use designer series paper there, it's just whatever you 
see when you see this layout. That's what I want you to make. You can make it exactly like this, but it has to be similar, okay? So this is a layout challenge where I've got a, a layer here, a little sentiment layer here. I've used a focal point with the circles. I've got an embossing folder in the background, but like I said, you don't have to do that. And you're going to take a picture of your card and you're going to post it under the picture of this card. Now, I will be posting a photo of this card with the details about the challenge on my Facebook page. And you're right there on it right now. I think Wednesday I'll make a tip video that will show you how to post a picture of your card underneath that particular challenge. I don't want to be hunting around for your cards. So you're going to need to go to my Facebook page. When you see this particular card as a post, you're going to click like you were going to type a comment under the picture and you're going to add your photo right there. Okay, that's what we're going to do. And I will show you on Wednesday. I better write that down. Wednesday tip video. Tip posting cards. Okay, so this will show you how to post cards when I have a challenge on my Facebook page so that you can participate. And I'm excited about it. So this is the layout that just blew my mind. And this comes from my team member, Kathy Miller. She and another one of my team members, Christine, had a big event in Oshkosh that was for demonstrators. This was one of the layouts they used. And I will show you, we're going to make the card that Kathy made that I went, oh, I just love this layout. It's so fun. So let's get started. I've jabber jawed long enough. So then today I made not only her card so I could show it to you, but I also made a whole bunch of other cards using witty sisms. And then I have to tell you, hang on, where's my other stamp sets? Oh, right here. I also pulled in Label Me Bold. I love this set. It's got some little background features and all these bold little labels. And I'll show you what I did with it. And then I just pulled in You're the Best from Thanks for the Laughs. And any stamp set would work for what I'm going to show you tonight. But I was just looking at the size of the sentiment and what I needed for this particular layout. Because as you can see, we've got a little sentiment layer here. So that's where You're the Best came into play. All right, let's get stamping. I can't hardly wait to show you this. Okay, I gotta keep my note right there <laughs> so I don't lose it. Okay, you guys, here we go. Diana says this is perfect. She has the stamp set and she has not used it yet. I hadn't used it either. So this is the first time I cracked it out. First thing we've got here is our card base. I'm just going to bring in all my layers. I've got a card base that is soft suede. This is five and a half by eight and a half, and we're going to fold it in half. And next, I've got an envelope. Now, I decided to use, oh, I didn't, I didn't decide anything. Kathy decided this. This was her card. She used the Best Dressed Designer Series paper. And the fun thing about this paper is it's got a design on one side. Okay, we've got the stripes, we've got stripes, we've got polka dots. So it's got a design on one side and then it's floral on the other side or it's got makeup and perfume, but the opposite side is very neutral. So, as long as she had started with this particular designer series paper, I just followed through with all the cards I made and used this designer series paper. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make a matching envelope because I am on the bandwagon to use up the designer series paper and stop hoarding it. So, this is a good way to do it is to always make a matching envelope to go with your card. And having the flap match, I think, is spectacular. So here we go. Let's see if I can cut this. I know Haley was going to have um, maternity photo shoot today. Her and Jared and their photographer. So I can't hardly wait to see those pictures. I know she had a really pretty dress on. She Snapchatted me. 
a really pretty dress. So I can't wait to see the photos. Okay, there is our envelope. So we're already starting off really cute, right? Next thing we've got here is a piece of crumb cake and a piece of Daffodil Delight. The Daffodil Delight we're gonna put, I'm looking for my glue, whoops, right on the front of our card. Here we go. Oops, that's a little crooked, there we go. Okay, and then this crumb cake layer, we are going to put through the Argyle embossing folder. Now remember, this is one of those folders you need the blue plate for. This is the folder that D won tonight from last week. So put that through the folder and then look at this. Yeah, you could actually use either side, whichever side you like best, but I love, love this embossing folder. This is part of our Country Club Suite. I think this is the first time I actually use this too, but I've got a swap coming up with the Country Club Suite that Haley's been working on. So she's been using it, and I can't hardly wait to start, whoops, designing some cards. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have an online class with that, this, with this, um, the Country Club. Okay, so here goes my Argo embossing folder, and then I took the circle that is about two and three eighths inches round. I see my paper came undone here. I just put some printer weight paper around my piercing mat and that's what I use to stamp on. So it always kind of is a nice, nice neat look for you guys for my videos and it gives me that little bit of cushion. So I'm gonna take my circle here and we're going to use a Memento black ink pad and I've got the Relax and Chinchilla Out. I'm gonna stamp that on my layer, my circle. That's the stitch shape circle, by the way. Then I took just a little bit bigger circle from my layering circles, and we're gonna put that on there. Before we do that, we're gonna do a little blending. So I've got a dark um, 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 crumb cake. And I'm just going to come in here and give my little, I wanted to call it a chihuahua. It's not a chihuahua, it's a chinchilla. I'm gonna give my little chinchilla some shading. This is the darker one. And then I'm gonna bring in the light crumb cake and do some blending. Now you guys can see, I hope this is clear, but you can see, you can see the definite end of the dark start of the light. If you keep coloring, it will blend that so it doesn't look so goofy. And then you've just got a little bit darker down here. Once you've got your entire image colored in, it really is like, it turns you into an artist. I always say it makes it really artsy fartsy. Somebody also told me, if you're coloring hard enough to make your markers squeak, you're pushing too hard. And that may very well be, but that's how I color. That's what I do. So I like squeaky markers. You may hate it. It may be driving you insane right now. And if that's the case, sorry. But, oh crud, my paper moved on me. I've got my color lifter here. I just colored out of the lines. Make sure you get a color lifter with your Stampin' Blends because they will save your little butt ski every time. There, I just pulled that color up. My paper moved on me by accident there. I'm gonna come down here and do a little bit more blending. Okay, look at my little chinchilla looks really good. Oh, I forgot his little hand. There we go. Now, I've got light smoky slate and I'm just going to take this and do the same thing Kathy did on hers and just add a little bit of ground I just scribbled some ground and put these over here there's our little chinchilla look how cute he is oh, I see I got oh look at it got red marker all over me that's from the kits I was marking them off I was putting the kits together today and I was checking them off Make sure I don't forget anybody. Got quite an assembly line going in my kitchen. Steve's gonna come in the house and he's gonna go, there's no room for me in here. And I'm gonna go, nope, get out. <laughs> 
here we go. Here comes three dimensionals on the back of this. I'm going to make sure I have enough support for it. I'm just going to set that aside for a second. We're going to bring in our card base here. And I'm going to bring in this piece. This is one and a half by three inches. And this is just part of our layout. I'm going to center this on the bottom and left and right. That's kind of how I looked at it. See, here's our, here's our layout. Here's our card coming together. Then we have a little half inch strip. And we've got the It's Your Retirement. I always like to have retirement um, cards on hand, especially now because, you know, Steve's retired and he gets invited, invited or somebody from his work, he says, oh, so-and-so's retiring. I know that I have a card handy that we can send to him right away. So when you get to that age, you need retirement cards. Now I'm gonna use my little guillotine cutter, which is perfect for this type of stuff, and I love that it doesn't take up a lot of space on my desk. You can get one, too, for free when you sign up to be a discount shopper with Stampin' Up. Okay, now I'm going to put my circle on here, relax and chinchilla out. What a perfect little saying for somebody that's retiring. We're going to do, I'm missing some comments over here. My screen isn't scrolling again, you guys. Julianne says that um, blends make her feel like an artist. They do. They make me feel like I am incredibly talented. <laughs> and I'm not that great. Uh, I'm not an artist. Like, I can't paint and draw and do all that stuff um, without a pattern. I am not, that's just not not my forte but I can color really nice with Stampin' Blends oh my gosh look at that is that not stinking adorable you guys not even kidding I was so excited where did my ribbon go hang on I lost oh here it is this is that daffodil ribbon and I am going to bring in my bow jig and I'm going to make myself a little bow this ribbon matches perfectly. If you don't have ribbon like this, you can use um, Baker's Twine. We're going to use Baker's Twine on the other cards tonight, I think. And I'm just going to cut this fairly close. I have to tell you guys that I ran out of this Daffodil Delight Roost ribbon. I'm waiting for my order to come in for some more. So I actually had to take this off of a card. So I have a naked card. Yeah, naked card. I'm like, where? I don't have any ribbon left. So I just kind of took it right off. It's robbery. Here comes my little glue dot. And I'm going to do the same thing that Kathy did and put my glue dot right there. Put my little ribbon right over here. Look at how cute that is. Is that not stinking adorable? It is adorable. Now, before I'm done, I have my inside. And I think what I'm going to do with that is add a strip of paper. I want to have a lot of space to write on this. My husband usually likes to put something kind of smart alecky in the cards that he gives for people's retirements. Mind you, my friends aren't old enough to be retiring. <laughs> I hope he's watching. He'll go, oh, did she just say that? Yep, I did. Yeah, just a little, little teasing there. I don't know if this layer looks like it's the right size. I might be making a mess here. Yep, it looks too long, and it is. So let's fix it. That didn't work so good, did it? Hang on. I have a new one right here, and I have more paper right here, and I just happen to have a little cutter right here. So I'm going to cut off about a half an inch. Should be perfect. Yep. We're going to try this again. What did I get right there? Oh, just a little piece of paper. Now I know this one's going to fit. I don't actually because I didn't measure it, but I'm pretty sure it will. There we go. Oops. Stuck to my finger. Okay, now we're in business. 
I hate that I wasted that whole layer of white, but whatever, right? Sometimes you gotta take one for the team. You're my team and I'm taking one. There we go. Look at that. Isn't it cute? So this is the card that just made me go, oh, I have to save that for a layout challenge because I just knew I love it. It's just a tiny little square here. It's the square with the circle that really just, I don't know, it, it made me happy. I thought this, you could do so many different things with this layout, right? Okay, so, and so many different things we are going to do. I shouldn't say so many different things, but we are going to make some more cards with this layout. So hang tight. Let me grab another packet here. I think what we're going to do right now is we're going to come in with a bright card. Look at all this prettiness coming in here. Here comes our next one. Whoops. Here we go. We're going to be using the stripes. So let me move this out of the way. I'll bring those back in before we're done so you can see all of them. We're going to be using the stripes, which I thought were really pretty. And again, these are all part of the well-dressed 6x6 designer series paper. You can see there's blue and green stripes. We're going to use that one too. Don't worry. You guys are going to be so sick of me by the time this virus thing is over. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, hang on. I just got ink on my hands. I hate that when that happens. All right, so we've got a Petal pink base, four and a quarter by 11. I've already scored it here at five and a half. And we're gonna burnish that edge good. Then we've got a piece of purple posy. Um, by the way, this layer and the crumb cake layer are the same. They are uh, five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. Same for this, five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. Um, we are going to take this piece and run it through the coastal weave embossing folder. Any embossing folder will work. We just want some texture on here. And once we do that, we end up with this. Okay, so here's our coastal weave. We're going to put that on a four by five and a quarter inch layer of lovely lipstick. Okay. And I know I'm missing your comments. My darn computer, I don't know why sometimes it doesn't scroll. You guys are leaving me all kinds of comments. Oh, Mary Lynn, she says, never get sick of you, Kelly. Well, thank you, Mary Lynn. I really appreciate that. I hope I'm not being too annoying. I, I don't think I am, but you guys have all the power not to watch, right? <laughs> I'll know when my viewership drops to nothing, I'll know that I went to far. Okay, there we go. We've got this. We're going to put this right on the front of our card. I don't know what that was. A little booger of glue or something. Not a booger booger, a glue booger. Now, these are crazy colors to put together. Like, I would have never, ever, ever done this. But that's the colors in, this, in the striped paper. Look, we've got perfume bottles on the back. And here comes our little one and a half by three inch piece. As long as we're doing that, we're gonna put our little half inch piece of designer series paper on our Whisper White layer. We're gonna hope and pray that this one actually fits on the inside of our card. <laughs> Not like the last one. I'm gonna, before I put glue on it, I'm gonna make sure that it will fit. Yeah, cause I just kinda, I kept looking at that layer going, yeah, that doesn't look like it's the right size. I should have I should have trusted myself, right? Yeah. Look at how pretty that is, right? Okay. Crazy colors. I just couldn't get over the colors. Here comes our stitch shape. Again, this is about two and three eighths inches. We are going to take the thank you very much. And we're going to stamp that on our little circle layer and then we're going to come in with our blend so I've got the lovely lipstick darker marker here and I'm just going to go around this outside edge with that darker marker then I'm going to come in with the light lovely lipstick and 
fill in the rest of my little strawberry here. Now see how that isn't that attractive? See the, the line of the dark and the light? Just keep blending it until you don't see that, just that, that line. There we go. Oh, I see there's still a little bit more down here. Now what you have is the shading over on that side. See it? Can you see it? I hope you can see it because it's super, super cool. Now we're going to come in and do a little bit of the strawberry leaf. And then I'm going to grab, oh, by the way, this is Granny Apple Green. I'm going to grab the lighter colored marker and blend. <gasps> so pretty. What do you think? Does that look good? We're going to layer this on a bigger circle. By the way, this circle, let me tell you how big this one is. I know some people will want to know. Two and five eighths round, right? Not square. Yeah, I think you guys have that part. <laughs> yeah, Kelly, we know, right? <laughs> okay, there we go. Dimensionals on the back. One, two, three. Here comes our dimensionals. Here comes our layer. Thank you very much half inch. This is where we're going to use that sentiment. Where'd my other thing go? Right here. You're the best. And that's coming from thanks for the laughs. Now I think we used thanks for the laughs again last night too. So this is a really good sentiment set for a lot of the cards that I've been making. I'm going to do that in memento black ink. Let me wipe my hands on my pants because I probably got ink on them. I'm just going to go with it. Like I always get ink on them, right? Oh, I got that really straight. Hey, me. And <laughs> that doesn't always happen like that. It was a fluke. Here we go with our little cutter. And now I'm going to put some baby dimensionals on the back of that layer. Who loves these mini dimensionals? Like, I love the mini dimensionals. <laughs> I love having access to both for whatever I might need it for. So it's great to have both of them on hand. We're gonna bring this in and put it right here, just like we did the last card. Look how cute that is! And then, did you guys like the little singing I did for you? It's as far as I go with the singing though. Trust me, you will always thank me for that. That's my limitation. Like you don't ever wanna hear me singing. <laughs> it's not pretty, people. Um, you know what? I think I want this to be a little bit bigger, so I'm going to pull this out just a little bit more. I did three times around, and down under, back over. Oh my gosh, I'm having like finger twitching deals going on here. Here we go. And I was thinking too, I was thinking I might go visit my mom for a day or two this week. I know my sister's up there, but I am kind of missing my mom. I was supposed to be going to um, Arizona on Tuesday, but that isn't happening, obviously, anymore, right? Nobody's traveling any place. So I might go visit my mom for a day or two. If I do, maybe I'll take my stuff with me so I can still come and play with you guys every day. My mom has internet. It's not the greatest internet, but it's internet, and some days it's better than others. I'll probably start going through some um, withdrawals some Facebook Live or stamping withdrawals if I go up there for a couple days. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys posted, okay? <gasps> Look at how cute it is! Yeah. What do you guys think of that? Rhonda says she loves the color combination. I do too. What did Amy answer to question for somebody? Oh, what colors they were. Thank you so much, Amy. I really appreciate it. What are the measurements on the bow jig again? That's a great question, Minnie. Minnie, Mindy, I'm sorry. So these two holes in the middle are one inch apart. Okay, so this actual um, block of wood, 
the top part here is about eh, four and a half by two and a half or two and a quarter. It doesn't matter. You drill a hole here and one inch from there you drill another hole. And then these two holes are half an inch from the center holes. That's it. This is the nail that I use. And um, sometimes people have made these and put the nails with the big flat head. Those aren't really useful. They're, they get in your way and they're annoying because I had one like that too. But this is perfect. This bow jig is like my saving grace. You guys, make yourself one. Have somebody make you one. You'll love it. There we go. Okay, one other thing. So I need to do my envelope. And I think that this envelope, I love this stripe. I would have never, ever, ever put those colors together, right? Not ever. And here we go. kind of like to take this and stack it up so I know that I'm getting my paper to the edge. However you do that to make it easy. But I don't want it going over the top edge because I don't want to see it on this side, right? how pretty that is. Okay, hang tight while I trim it. I know you guys have seen me do this a gazillion times, but if I set it over to the side and say, oh, I'll do that later, I really won't. <laughs> that, my friends, would be a lie. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, I am not going to do it later. Because I got other things to move on to, right? Do you guys ever do that? Well, probably not, but yeah, that's how I roll. It's like, nope, I won't do that. I know me. I know how I operate. Look at how pretty. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Very, very cool colors. Okay, are you ready for the next one? Hang on, I gotta get a drink. I gotta clean up some of my mess here. Oops, we're getting a little out of control. Here goes these markers. By the way, I gotta get a drink. Um, I will have the dimensions and, and a product list of what I use like the colors that I use to color these I'll have everything on my blog I don't know if I'll get it done tonight or tomorrow I gotta get these kits ready for a pickup in the morning um, my mailman usually comes early so before I go to bed tonight I want to have I don't know I've got like 75 kits to get done and put in the mail and don't don't worry they're kind of started Rachel was over helping me today so I did get some work done on them but I still have to print all the labels. That can take me easily a couple hours to get all that sorted out. Okay, next. Here we go. I have another card. Let me get this one out. We are going to be doing a Smoky Slate card base. We're going to be using this print of the Best Dressed Designer Series paper. And some petal pink. And I got all my bits and pieces here. Now, first thing, this is a Whisper White layer. Um, well, this is going to be for the inside. But I took my front layer and I put it through the tufted embossing folder. And that's this one that's oh so pretty. Yeah, this is one of our 3D folders. I love, love, love it. So I hope you can see that in the light. We're going to take that and put it on our four by five and a quarter inch petal pink layer. I couldn't think of the name. Hang on, I've got all kinds of weird stuff going on here with my glue. Now it's working better. And this white piece is again five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. I like that really skinny little border. If you like a bigger border, then you would cut this three and three quarters by five. But I like the skinny border. Smoky Slate is our card base. We're going to go ahead and fold that. Burnish our edge good. We can put this on there right away. These are really quick cards. You can do a whole assembly line of these cards. Right? Because they're quick and easy to put together. Here comes our one and a half by three inch designer series paper layer that right here. Here comes our half inch. This actually looks like three quarters of an inch. Whatever. It's just a strip of paper for my inside layer. I'm going to put that right down here. I like to leave a little white underneath of it. I just, I don't know, I think it's nice looking. 
Got a tiny little carryover there. I'm gonna have to get a baby wipe out because I can feel my fingers are sticky right now. Oh, I want all of my global followers. I need to write that down too. I was gonna do something today and I didn't. Um, I am going to put a post on my Facebook page, Global Friends. If you are outside of the United States, I'm going to put a post on my page because I think it was Angie Fairburn that said the other day and when I when we were talking about somebody being from Canada and how I couldn't send them a prize because of customs and it's really expensive and all the things. Angie, I think, popped up with the idea that, well, Kelly, you could give them one of your online classes as a prize. <laughs> Angie, that was just so genius, right? So I'm like, you know, that's a really good idea. So I've got a lot of followers that are outside of the United States, and that is one thing that I can give you. So I am planning on, I'll put a post on my Facebook page. I want only my international, outside of the United States followers to comment on this post, and then I will give away an online class. I've given away online classes with my Facebook Live before, but I've never specified, inter and, I, and I'm pretty sure that the person who won it was a U.S. resident, but this time I've got so many followers. You know what? Maybe I'll have to give an online class to both U.S. and international. So um, for those of you that are Watching tonight, you will be entered in a drawing for one of my online classes, and then I'll make a separate post, because I want to keep things fair, right? Because it's like, well, that's not fair. I'll make a separate post for my international followers just for them to post and um, be able to win something from me, because I can't, I can't give them anything else. Okay, now we're going to use still Memento ink. I am going to stamp this cute little baby pram that's what they call it over in England right a pram and then we're going to do something just a little bit different here I've got dark and light petal pink so I'm going to come in here and color the little buggy pram what else are these called baby carriage I don't know <laughs> I better start learning all the terms right because I'm going to be a little gray pretty soon yeah, Haley was over, I think I talked to you guys already about it yesterday. She was over working for me all day yesterday designing cards. Oh, she makes such pretty cards. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm just going to keep blending till I can't see that line anymore. Oh, so pretty, right? And then you're like, Kelly, don't forget to color in the heart. Oh, wait, I've got a different plan for that. I'm just going to take some of my gray. This is the uh, light smoky slate color that we are going to add this to our circle layer and again you could use the scallop from the layering circles for the petal pink layer that would be super cute too right I just didn't think of it and I already had it cut out and then I did think of it and then I'm like I'll just tell people don't forget the because especially for this particular stamp with the baby buggy on there, it's got the little scalloped edge that would like really coordinate nicely, right? It's got that little scalloped edge in there. Yeah, and it's a baby card, so that would be super cute with the scallop under here. So my little tippy doodle here is I'm gonna bring in a scrap and I'm gonna use my dog builder punch to punch out this little heart. So we're gonna do something, instead of just coloring that little heart in right there, I decided that I would put a real heart on there. Well, not real, you know what I mean. And we'll do that. I want to move that over so it's not interfering with my words. I'm kind of pokey till I need that in here. There we go. Okay, and then I decided to bling it up just a touch with a rhinestone right on the side of that heart. Look at how cute it is! Ah. And then, again, I'm going to bring in my um, 
Linen thread. Linen thread is one of my staples, you guys. If you don't have any of this, make sure you add it to your next order. It matches just about everything. I mean, you can put it on a bouquet of flowers. I'm putting it on a baby card right now. We put it on a strawberry thank you card. It just kind of goes with everything. I love, love, love the linen thread. And then the other thing that I like to do to it is, where did my, there it is, is grab your bone folder and curl it just like your curling ribbon and it'll curl right up. Now I know that other thread that is not Stampin' Up! linen thread, I had some, it didn't do that. I don't know why, it seems crazy, but it won't curl at all, but our linen thread does. And of course, you know, it's probably because our stuff is just such high quality. This time I'm gonna put my bow right down here. There we go. And I'm not putting a little greeting right there. What do you guys think of that one? Isn't that cute? No. Matching envelope again. Okay, I have one more card for you. I had to do it. Some of you might know what's coming. Bumper baby buggy. <laughs> Teresa said these cards are so cute, Kelly. Thank you so much. Don't forget to share my video if you've come on after we talked about that. That really helps me out. I appreciate it. I got some of this done. And we are just going to very quickly and easily put this together. I have got a mint macaron card base. It's eight and a half by five and a half. And why is it that I just can't set my bone folder someplace where I can find it every time? Like I'm gonna just put it there every time. You know I'm not. Okay, then I'm bringing in pretty peacock, four by five and a quarter, five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. This is the tufted embossing folder again on whisper white. We're going to add that to the pretty peacock. And here, oops, look at how crooked that is. There we go. I want it to be all crooked and weird. Okay, this goes right on the front of our card. Okay. Then I've got the same Best Dressed Designer Series paper. We are going to do the stripes, which are very similar to the strawberry card we made, only these are blue and green. Here comes our white circle. We're going to do our welcome little one. And now I'm going to bring in my mint macaron. And I need a, hang on, mint, mint, mint. I need a little scrap. Here we go. I got a scrap. Okay, I'm going to color with the dark and then the light, just like I did the last one. I don't want to get carried away and get out of the lines because sometimes in the end I get a little rushed and then I mess it up. Where'd that gray go? I'm going to put a little bit of gray down here. Just like that. Don't overthink that when you're putting like shading underneath something. Don't overthink it because you can spend a lot of time and end up with a way bigger shadow under something than you really want it if you overthink it just give your scribble and be done with it that's my best advice here comes our little dog or our little dog our little heart little blue right there there we go and I'm going to do another heart, heart, another rhinestone. I'm thinking and trying to look for things at the same time. And then the things that come out of my mouth, I'm glad they're not obscene because I'm not aware of what they are. They're obviously the wrong things. No, they're not obscene. But it's like, blah, what was I trying to say? There we go. And 
Here comes our dimensionals. Yeah, what time is it? 8.09. Oh my gosh, I'm doing really good on time. Sometimes I get a little buried in stuff and I don't do as well on time as I probably could. Um, here we go. We're going to do something a little different to this one than we did to the, to the girl one. I still need to make another bow. And one, two, three cross it over, bring it under and over, and tie it in a knot. Perfect bow every time. I love, love, love this thing. And then curl our baker's twine. Oops, I want to do that one one more time. There we go. We need a mini glue dot. And I always like to curl it up, especially with the... Um, the linen thread, not Baker's twine, the linen thread, because I don't want that mini glue dot sticking out from under this. It's so tiny, right? It's not like ribbon where it's a little thicker and more substantial. Okay, I'm going to do that. Then, where's my white piece? Right here. Oh, here comes my white piece and pretty peacock ink. Here's our congratulations. Oh, no, that's not the congratulations. Where did my other stamps go? right here. Here's the congratulations that's from that Label Me Bold. Oops, something just fell. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but it sounded like something I need. Um, the Label Me Bold, this is just a great little background set. It's shown on the facing page in the mini catalog from the Witty Sisms, but I really like this. There's a lot of cards in there that show it used in conjunction with the Witty Sisms. So I'm going to bring in my pretty peacock. I am going to stamp my congratulations. And then I'm going to grab my scissors. Now these are really little, so these are easy to cut out by hand. And you just, I just like to leave a white border, or you can cut it off. It's your card. You do whatever you want with it. It doesn't have to have a white border. It's completely at your discretion, right? It's like, if I want a white border, I'll have a white border. But if you don't, then don't. There's our little congratulations. We've got our mini baby dimensionals here. And again, they're just the perfect size where you don't have to trim or cut or putz around with them, right? Here we go. We're gonna put this right here. Make sure I get it on there straight. Oh, that's super cute, isn't it? Look how cute that is. And then we've got our inside. I love these stripes, like such very pretty colors. And I don't know that I've ever put mint macaron together with pretty peacock. Not that it's an outrageous color combination like, you know, like this was. That's crazy town. <laughs> but it's beautiful. But this isn't so outrageous, but I don't think I've ever put these two colors together. And can I just say they are delicious? Like, they're so pretty. So, yeah, I learn a lot of things from the concept artists and the, um, the artistic people at Stampin' Up! Because they know, they know all these color things, right? This is what they're educated in. So that's where I learned it too. Look how cute that is. And then to save you the pain of watching me do another envelope, I already have one done here. And in this color combination, we have again, Purple Posy, Mint Macaron, and you could, maybe you could do Night of Navy. Let me see, I'm gonna grab some Night of Navy and see. No, I don't think so. I think you need to stick with the, with the pretty peacock. But again, it's up to your discretion. All right, let's bring these cards back in here. Get my mess out of the way. Holy cow. Here comes our cute little girl card. You guys know that I'm having a girl grandbaby, right? We don't know what her first name is yet. They're keeping that from us. Yeah, from us. No, I'm kidding. I think it's kind of neat that that'll be a big surprise. Um, having a little girl. And we've nicknamed her Weed, and her middle name's going to be Lee. And we call her Weed Lee because she's due on 420. <laughs> so it's our little family joke. Look at how pretty these are. And they all come out of this one 
one um, layout. And again, Kathy Miller, I'm pretty sure this was Kathy's card. I'm pretty sure that I asked her and she said, yeah, she designed it. This rocked my socks off. Like, I couldn't wait. This was Kathy's card, and then I just used the same stamp set in different colors to make the rest of these. But I was super excited when I made this card at the event that I was at that Kathy designed because I'm like, oh my goodness, this is an awesome layout. I love, love, love the layout. Now, you could use this with uh, the Gangs All Mirror. You could stamp the little mirror cats in here and use the funny little sentiments. This can be used with the cows. You know, we got the cows, I'm over the moon for you or whatever, the whole set with the cows in it. This would be adorable for that. What else? It would also be awesome for the Easter, welcome Easter set that you guys just ordered in the kit from me. Um, if you added the stamp set on, or maybe you already have it, that this would be a great layout for that. And you guys, as long as I'm thinking about that, this well-dressed designer series paper is part of that kit. So you're going to get this designer paper and make some of these layouts with the Welcome Easter. Yay! But remember, Friday at noon, you are going to post the cards that you make with this layout. And I'm going to go to my Facebook page right now and put in... Um, all the information and a picture of this with these cards, okay? So you go underneath this picture and where you would type a comment to me like, oh, thanks, Kelly, where you would type a comment, there's a little arrow there. When you hit that, you can do a camera, you can pull from your um, library of pictures, whatever. You can click on the camera, hold your camera up, take a picture of your card, and post it. You just click post or save or whatever it says but anyways that will get you entered into my layout challenge and I don't know what I'm giving away but it'll be something fun it'll be something that you guys like something that you can use and need I've never given away any crappy stuff have I <laughs> I don't think so okay I'm turning you around because oh did you see my mess over there you should see my floor right now it's horrible we're not going to go there I don't have time to deal with it I'm thinking, I don't know how tomorrow's going to go. I don't know how many kits I'm going to be able to get done, if I'm going to be able to get done with them all tonight. But I'm thinking maybe I'll do my Facebook Live a little earlier, like quite a bit earlier, like maybe around noon tomorrow and take the rest of the day off because I've been working pretty hard. <laughs> and I think I could use like, just I'll just sit in the living room. Maybe I'll make some popcorn with melted butter on it. Is Bev watching? I don't want Bev to hear me melted butter on it and I'll rent a movie off Amazon. I've been wanting to watch Gone Girl. I read the book. It was crazy. Have you guys seen the movie? I want to watch the movie, but it's still, it was $12.99 to buy it on Amazon. I'm like, I'm not paying $12.99 for an Amazon movie, but now it's only $3.99. I might treat myself. <laughs> Amy wants to know if I use an Archon phone holder. I do. And I love it. Um, they're kind of expensive, Amy, but it is the best investment I've ever made. I went through a lot of different phone holders that were crummy. They, like, didn't work right. They wiggled all over the place. Now, my Archon wiggles when I hit my table because my table isn't sturdy. It's not the stand. The stand is very sturdy, and I love it. Like, it's the best. So, there you go. Oh, and Wendy says, Gone Girl is amazing. The book or the movie? Which one, Wendy? Rhonda says, great movie. I know Ben Affleck is in it, right? He's pretty hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like me a little Ben. <laughs> um, oh, Arliss made popcorn and she had a bottle of beer. Do you know, Arliss, that one of my fondest... Arliss is from my hometown of Nielsville. And one of my fondest memories with my grandma, who is now passed, um, was Sunday nights I would go over to grandma's house and she would make that popcorn that you put it on the stove and you went like this and the Jiffy popcorn, it popped up into a big mound, like a dome of tin foil. She would make Jiffy popcorn and then we would drink Dr. Pepper. And I always thought that was so funny because my mother never drank soda like ever. So for grandma to drink soda, I just thought that was so goofy. Like I can't believe grandmas drink soda. But anyways, we would drink Dr. Pepper and eat Jiffy Popcorn and watch the Disney Sunday night movie. 
I know a lot of you are from that time that you would have been doing the Disney Sunday night movie too. Do you remember? You can still hear the music in your head, the Disney music that came on before the movie. Anyways, so Arliss is from my hometown and she said she had popcorn tonight and a beer and that made me think of Nielsville and my grandma and going to grandma's house on Sunday night. Squirrel. That's how it goes. It that's how it is in here, you guys. It's all like whoa, 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 whoa. I have to like settle her down, Kelly. Yeah. Um, oh, somebody said, Becky said she was glad I fixed my leprechaun card. I know, right? My little my little dude, this guy with the with the wobble on it. So I have to tell you guys, um, one of the cards that Ashley made in the Welcome Easter kit has wobbles. Uh, it, it has a wobble on it. So you can wobble the little animals on the card. And the wobbles are included in the pre-cut cardstock pack. So pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, what else? Um, I Oh, April says she liked orange juice with your popcorn. Well, you know what's really funny? I like sour patches with my popcorn, like those sour little sugar candy things that are like gummy bears, but they're really sour. I have to eat those with my popcorn. And I would love to be able to go to Dairy Queen or Tom's Drive-In and get the popcorn because they make the best popcorn. <laughs> That's one of my weird little things. I've got a lot of weird things. I know you guys, I don't know if I can say you think I'm really normal, but I've got a lot of weird little quirks. <laughs> That's a strange little things. Like I always drink like the same thing. Strawberry lemonade. It's what I drink. It's what I love. I haven't touched Pepsi, which was my like lifeline. I filled my IV up with that 24 seven. I haven't touched Pepsi in over a year since I went on the Optavia plan and lost all the weight. So strawberry lemonade. Andy or Ashley says candy and popcorn always. I know, right? But I don't like any other kind of candy with my popcorn. Just sour patches. It's weird. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. I am going to let you go. Like I said, I might come on early tomorrow. And maybe my whole day won't even go the way I plan it to. But if it does, I might be on around noon or something. I think most of us are at home anyways, right? Just watch. I'll give you about a 15-minute um, window to tell you that I'm going to be live. And... Ashley just asked how. How what, Ash? How what? Um, I'll give you about a 15-minute window. Oh, <laughs> the soda. I just read your next comment. She can't quite quit that stuff. So here's the deal. I drink regular Pepsi. I don't know if you drink regular Pepsi. I don't like diet anything. I hate diet soda. I think diet soda is way worse than drinking the real stuff, right? But um, I got, I gained 30 pounds over the winter and I felt horrible. Like I felt like a blowfish, uh, literally. It, it just every day was like, Ugh. and I am not that type of person to be Ugh, all the time, right? So I knew that I needed to do something, and I knew that I had drank Pepsi like that all my life, you guys. I drank way more Pepsi in a day than a person should be eating in calories, and that's not a lie. I drank Pepsi from the minute I got up until the minute I went to bed at 2 or 3 in the morning. Pepsi, full strength, full sugar, full every everything, full caffeine, and um, my body just processed it, okay? I, I must have had a pretty good metabolism. But then when I turned 50, you know, everything went to hell in a handbasket. <laughs> That's when I ended up with breast cancer. That's when I started gaining weight. That's when, you know, all the things happened. But I think when you, when you hit that age or whatever, your metabolism changes. And then over the winter, I gained 30 pounds and I felt horrible. And I decided I am not going to feel horrible. I need to take control of my life. And I knew that I had to quit the Pepsi. And that's like one of the hardest things that I've ever, ever done. I, I used to smoke. I quit smoking. Pepsi was worse. I just, I loved my Pepsi. It gave me comfort. And I used to say, nectar of the gods. It was my, I loved it. I loved it. And um, yeah. So I quit the Pepsi because I wanted to lose the weight. And with you, you're drinking Diet Pepsi. So that isn't even kind of an issue. And so I'm sorry but it is very addictive and I've never touched it since. Funny story. 
I know I'm keeping you guys. I'm just rattling now. Funny story. So a few weeks ago, we went to Lake Park Pub, which is a little um, bar and grill out in the country. And we like to go there and either um, on Wednesdays they have burritos and then fish. Friday night fish fry. And we went to we went to Lake Park Pub and they don't serve iced tea. So um, good for you, Deb. She said she quit smoking too. Yeah, I was really a, I was a smoker, like a big smoker. I, yeah, I didn't ever really hate smoking either. I could, I still like the smell of it. Do you find when you're like walking someplace and somebody has a cigarette going, you're like, <sighs> that's what I do. You know, it smells so good. Anyways, back to the fish fry. So, um, my place, like Park Pub, they don't have unsweetened iced tea, and that's what I usually drink when I um, go to out to eat. And so it makes me mad that they don't have it. And so I was like, well, then just give me a Pepsi. I thought, well, I'm just going to drink a Pepsi then if I can't have my iced tea. I was kind of in my head like, hmm, I'll show you. Who was I going to show? Like, I'm totally going to screw up and start gaining all this weight back if I start drinking Pepsi again. I don't know. But anyways, let's step back a bit. Just give me a Pepsi, I said. And then my husband turns to me and goes, well, don't you want an old-fashioned? I'm like, oh, yeah, I do. So instead, I had a Southern Comfort old-fashioned sweet with olives. And it was much better than a Pepsi. So I still haven't drank no Pepsi. Um, yeah, who just said that? Somebody just said, oh, and Jean said she can't stand the smell of cigarettes. Are you an ex-smoker, Jean? Um, Lori said she's a reformed smoker and she hates it now. Oh, that's very interesting. My mom is the same way. Like, she'll be like, we'll be walking into Walmart or something. Somebody be outside smoking and I'm like, <sighs> right? That's the way I am too. I'm like, oh, that smells good. But I, nope, I quit smoking one day and that was the end of it. I never smoked another cigarette. So, yeah. Anyways, okay. Penny Lou says the smell of cigarettes make her sick. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. April quit because, hang on, I got to go back a little bit. Because when her kids were young, they, oh, she quit when her kids were young and started again once they reached high school. Yeah, I, I get that. Steve quit smoking. And um, he started again, too. But he'll quit again. I know he will. Just got to get it together. And you know what? You can't have anybody, like, dogging you. That doesn't do any good. Like, don't dog people to quit smoking. They're going to do it in their own time when they want. And it's not going to help. You're just going to... You're just going to piss people off is what you're going to do. And nobody needs that. You know, people know it's not good for them. They feel bad enough. But it is an addiction. There's no doubt about it. So April quit two years later. Good for you, April. So Jean has never smoked. Okay, yep. I, I totally get that. Good for you because you're way better off. I can tell you. Yeah, both my parents smoked. All my brothers and sisters smoked. Um, they just recently quit within the last couple years. So yeah, it was, a, it was a whole family thing. We all smoked. That's what we did. And probably living out in the country and from a very small community, that made it more acceptable because I don't know why, but smaller communities, people, people smoke. I don't know. Anyways. All right. Now I'm going to let you go. You've got my whole history about all my bad habits. <laughs> got the Pepsi. We got the cigarettes. We got all the things. Anyways. Um, hi, Kit Kat Miller. It has been a long time. I am happy to see you on here. I hope you're still stamping. All right. I am just ending this. I will post this video so you can watch the replay if you came on late. Please give me a thumbs up if you didn't yet. Please click on that share button and share it whether you're watching now or later on YouTube. I really appreciate it. And if you need to order any supplies, I appreciate your orders. Oh, this is all backwards. I can't make it right. But you'll find a host code in the right-hand column on my blog. Also an online ordering button there. And I'll get all of these photographed, load up the challenge card challenge with this layout. I'll also post something for my global friends so that they can win a prize. I'm so glad that um, Angie mentioned that. Thank you, Angie. That was a really good idea and I don't know why I didn't think of it. Right? So that's why I have you guys to help me. Okay. 
Happy Sunday night. I will see you back here sometime tomorrow. I don't know when, but don't worry. I always share the video so that you can watch the replay if you don't see me live. Have a nice Sunday evening. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Bye-bye.